So far, we've programmed the computer to keep track of the number of passengers. Now, say we want the computer to show us how many passengers are on the bus so far. We know it's stored inside this variable called passengers here. But how do we tell the computer to show us its value? Remember that print line instruction that we learned earlier? That's exactly what we need now. However, this time we want it to show us the value inside that variable. To do that, we should type in the word passengers, but without quotation marks. Remember that quotation marks are used when we want to display a message or the word as it is. But here, we don't want it to display the word passengers itself. Instead, we want to see the value stored inside that variable. So, when we type in something inside those parentheses here, without the quotation marks, Java automatically assumes that this is a variable and starts looking for the value stored inside that variable and displays it because this is a print line statement. Which means if we run this program here, we get this print output 6, which happens to be the value of our variable passengers here. Let's trace this program step by step and see why the variable passengers ended up with 6 inside. This statement here is declaring this variable passengers of type integer which is basically creating this empty box that we can store integer variables in it. The second statement is initializing it to zero, which is basically adding the number zero inside. Then the next statement is updating the variable passengers by adding five to its old value. Its old value happened to be zero, so when we add five to zero and update it, it becomes five. And then the following statement here is subtracting three from the old value, which is five, and updating passengers to this result of the subtraction. So we subtract 3 from 5, making it 2, and passengers becomes 2. And then finally, this statement here is subtracting 1 and adding 5 to the old value of passengers, which is 2 now. So when we subtract 1, it becomes 1, and then we add 5, passengers become 6. By the time we reach this final statement here, our variable passengers will have 6 in it, and when we print it out, this is the output that we get.